Hola, hola. ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Te gusta jugar en las escaleras? Oh, ok. Ok. ¿Qué estás haciendo aquí solita? Wow. Wow, ¿estás jugando? Oh, oh, se te cayó. Oh. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. We left off in me trying on wedding dresses and then I just disappeared from YouTube, girl. Well, it's been a couple of weeks, but welcome back to my channel, guys. It is just me and Mama Girl in the mornings. Alex takes Baby G to school, which I miss going all of us to drop off Baby G like the first two months of school. We would all go and have a happy family little morning, but because it is winter, it started getting really cold. Me and Kaeli stay back at home because it's way too cold to sacarla so early. So yeah, I cannot wait for the weather to start getting warm because if you know you know and if you didn't know you bought a know. i am a summer girly i love warm hot weather so i'm sober the winter i say winter and we don't even get like crazy winters but just the cold just the fact that i can't go outside with the kids because it's so cold certain days Ugh, like i just can't wait to be able to go outside and do outside activities because the kids love to be outside and i don't know i just feel like with two kids especially like you kind of just want to go outside get some sun let them run around but <laughs> yeah that's the backstory as to why me and kylie stay back now but i feel like within the next month it will be warm enough for us to be able to go for all of us to be able to go and drop off baby g at school i mean we still can if we'd like bundle up all crazy but ain't nobody got time girl so yeah and my mornings i have become a morning girly as as i had promised <laughs> to you guys honestly i had no choice because when kyle started school which is this year it's his first year when he started so i cannot get out of bed anytime past like 7 45 so yeah i'm up pretty early for the most part 7 38 which i'm trying to wake up now at 7 a.m so that is my new new year's <laughs> resolution it's just 30 minutes but i guess because i know i'd be struggling oh my god let's get mama girl down from the stairs guys we put the little rail where it's at like four steps up and she will go and sit all the way up where the rail is let me show you guys yeah. sí, bájate. and she just opened it Una, dos, tres. No. No, te vas a caer. Te vas a caer. Te vas a caer. Sí. 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 Hi. ¿Tú cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas tú? Kaeli. Yo me llamo Kaeli. Bájate. 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 Anyways, I am drinking my greens this morning. I have been loving these, the Alani ones. I have tried a couple, uh, like four different ones, and I absolutely hated them. I would have to like hold my nose. But these are actually not bad at all. So if you have been looking for some a good super greens, uh, this one right here is really good. And I've been drinking it every morning, probably for like two weeks now, just as my morning routine. And how cute is this cup? You're like, it's actually not that cute, girl. <laughs> I made it with my little Cricut. I literally did not know what to print or what to practice. So I just uh, printed this drink your greens because i literally have been grabbing this cup every single morning since i started drinking them so i was like perfect let me play around with it but yeah i didn't buy my little cricket if you guys have me on instagram you know what i'm talking about um for any project in specific but every time that i posted something you guys would tell me like les why have you not bought the cricket i feel like you need the cricket <laughs> so i went ahead and bought it and yeah i can't wait to do like projects with it because sometimes i'll see really cute stuff and i'm like oh i wish i could put their name so yeah that will be perfect for that okay there we go Okay, let's clean up the kitchen a little bit. Before I make some breakfast, guys, update on my IBD. I finally got some pills prescribed. I was able to see my doctor, get some quick tests done for him to kind of see where I'm at since I had to change doctors because my doctor prior retired or move. I can't remember which one. So I hadn't had an IBD doctor for the past... What's the matter? I vlog. For the past two years. So thank God I found this doctor. He's so, so good. And I'm on day two of my pills. I'm supposed to take these for the rest of my life. And I'm hoping this does better. But yeah, we have like a whole game plan going on in case these don't work. Kind of like next step, next step, next step. If you guys suffer from IBD, IBS, anything around that region, you know what I'm talking about. But cross my fingers, these work. I'm just glad. Look how big these are. I'm just glad that I was able to get back with a doctor that I can like, you know, check in with regularly and get, get the vibes going. 
Now to make myself some breakfast, Alex will watch Mama Girl and then we'll both both up on the gym. ¿Qué quieres decir? ¿Qué? ¿Qué vas a decir ahí? De ping pong, ping pong es un monito. She's in her blabbling stage, guys. She's just like, papa, 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 papa. I don't know what she's saying. Okay, breakfast time. Let's get into the gym fit. Guys, this closet has officially, this whole section <laughs> became onset with all of our drops. So I just come in here every morning and decide what collection, what set, what drop I want to wear. What should I wear today? Can we just talk about our latest drop colors? The black, the chocolate brown, and the blue navy. Yesterday I wore chocolate, so. Before we get into the gym and everything else in this vlog, I want to thank SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. So SeatGeek, which by the way has over 28 million downloads for a reason, is rated the number one ticketing app. So SeatGeek is basically where you should be grabbing your tickets to any upcoming live event from concerts, festivals, football games. You hear about a concert, you hear about an event, you don't know where to grab tickets, head over to SeatGeek. With artists like Drake and Bad Bunny going on tour, you guys do not want to miss out. They even rate the tickets for you guys from one to 10, so you know which are good and which are bad. Green dot means good and red dot means bad. And they got your back. Every ticket is backed with their buyer's guarantee and fun fact SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps 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 why is that a tongue twister and y'all know i have the hookup use my code less do makeup for twenty dollars off your tickets at SeatGeek. that's twenty dollars off your first purchase with my code less do makeup so make sure to click the link in the description to download the app now let's get into the gym and let's talk about these headphones so i have the beats and i have the apple max fun fact by the way i am a huge apple fan lover whore so I absolutely love my Apple Max and I posted on my stories and a lot of you guys were saying why do I prefer the Beats for the gym? So the Beats greater than, greater than, greater than, the max for the gym. Why? My main reason is because of how light these are and how like snug they are on my ears. I almost feel like I'm not wearing them as I'm working out. Now these, I've used them to work out a lot, a lot, a lot, and I still do sometimes. They are definitely just a little bit bulkier, and if you have the white pair in specifically, you wanna take care of them because they can get dirty. So for example, this pair has, I added the silicone cover here, I added the clear cover to this, and I also added the white silicone cone cover to the the earbuds because if not they will get so dirty especially at the gym and these are really cool because you can just uh, wipe them off after you're done working out but with that being said all of these accessories add some weight i mean even with no accessories at all they're still definitely a little bit more bulkier than the beats and if you want to take care of them because they're a little bit pricey and you kind of cover them up like this they get even more bulkier and a little bit heavier so they're not the absolute most comfortable to work out and i mean you can even see like how big the ear covers are compared to my beats so if you're asking me for the gym and for the gym only i would definitely go with the beats but overall if you're wanting to buy a pair of headphones for like just everything editing listening to podcasts cooking blah 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 you cannot go wrong with these like i absolutely love these they automatically which is my favorite part automatically connect to my phone as soon as i just put them on the noise control on this on and off is insane the volume is really good like overall they are a 10 10 to me and so are these but if i had to choose which pair for the gym it would be the beats but <laughs> if i had to pick a pair for the airport it would be uh the apple also these will slide a little bit while you're working out especially if you're you know doing uh movements throughout your workout like leg day or whatever these will definitely kind of you'll find yourself adjusting them on your head throughout your workout and these i dead ass do not have to adjust them at all like they just sit on my head and they're like locked in. So yeah, I kind of just wanted to explain that here on my video because after I posted on my stories, I kind of just left you guys like, these are better than these for the gym. Do you guys agree or do you guys disagree? Please let me know down below. Do we agree or do we disagree, ladies? So I couldn't get too much of our workout in today because I got surprised. We'll show you guys in a minute, but we just picked up Gael from school. What do you have to say? And we are on our way to Hobby Lobby because he uh, they're having their 100 days of school, which I never knew was a thing, but now that I'm a mother with a kid in school, I'm like, oh, it's like a whole thing in like all schools when you hit the 100 days of school. So yeah, we're gonna go make his shirt. I was like on Pinterest looking up ideas and I screenshot it. I'm gonna show them to you guys the options that I gave him. I normally do that when it comes to like certain little activities that he has in school. I'll show him options and then I have him pick which one he wants to do. That way he gets like excited to do it. Like the Sonic, Sonic Pumpkin. Well, that one I did it myself completely. What's Sonic? 
Um, but he picked uh, the design to do and when he saw it, he was like super excited about it Which by the way, let's talk about that now uh, A lot of people when I posted the reel thought that it was a project he had to do Like every kid had to decorate a pumpkin But that was not the case guys So one pumpkin per class was given to the, the class mom to decorate the pumpkin And that was me, so it was in my hands <laughs> To decorate the pumpkin however I wanted to like represent his class because these were put up for a bid uh, kind of to raise money for the school so you know the nicer the pumpkin the the more the bid and stuff so yeah i never explained that on my stories but i totally get it why some people thought that i did like his homework but the homework was not necessarily for him it was just uh, a pumpkin given one per class to kind of represent their class so yeah this is kind of like the first i guess project that he gets assigned to him yes puppy I'll go back to school i want to go back to school again you want to go back to school yeah he loves school so yeah that's where we're going to happy lobby he ended no, up go not going to happy lobby. yeah that is where we're going he ended up going with this shirt and i gave him the options like two days ago and every day <laughs> he's been asking me when we're going to do the car shirt so yeah get some utensils i mean some tools that we need for that made it out here to hobby lobby who's excited kiddos i don't think we've all ever came here Hobby Lobby's family to uh, Hobby Lobby. <laughs> we actually have never been here so not as a family of four at least ahead. yep you're excited yeah okay yeah you pick all the cars you want okay first we need a t-shirt yeah there they are so big. no we can get your size i'm sure they have your size, the shirts have the size? yeah what color should we get Big okay, we found his size. Uh, not that one. Okay, you like the blue one better? Yeah, blue. Let's do blue one. Or do you rather blue or white? These are cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Put it in there. And we're home. Guys, I have yet to show you guys uh, here on YouTube the playroom that we did for the kids. I kind of just go my days thinking that you guys all follow me on Instagram. So I don't update you guys as much on YouTube. But maybe you guys don't have an Instagram. And only uh, keep up on YouTube. So... Yeah. We have turned the media room, what used to be the media room, into the kids' playroom, and me and Alex debated back and forth. He was team media room slash caveman room, and I was team playroom, but I decided, and you guys decided and voted <laughs> on Instagram, and yeah, it is a playroom. Honestly, we spend so much time here so far. I absolutely love it. I mean, nothing is like legal or anything, so even if in like a year or two, we're just not <laughs> in this room as much, then we can just turn it into a bar or into a club or something, just kidding. But for now, I thought a playroom was a great idea. Yeah, see, ah, quieres papa. Okay, we had to stop for Chick fil A. We cook home, we eat homemade meals well, a good 95% of the time, especially now that me and Alex are back on our meal plans. But today has been a busy, rushed day. See, sí, verdad? <laughs> so we stopped to buy food and I didn't even get to show you guys because we like rushed out to pick up to pick up baby G from school. But I made have you guys seen it? Mom's out there. Mommy's out there. Have you guys seen like the little hearts hairdos that are like trending right now with Valentine's Day? I did it today and it came out so cute, but of course she already messed it up. And I didn't even get a picture. Okay, vamos a darte papa. Pollito. And also in the two weeks that I've been gone from YouTube. YouTube, Kaeli started walking. Well, it's been three weeks now. Correct me, but in the time that I have not posted, she started walking. She is officially fully walking on her own, which is which has been great. And I'll show you guys right now what we did to the playroom. When this was a media room, we had like a couch here, and we would rarely spend our time here. So yeah, I have been loving it. Right? Yeah, it was a great idea. The media room. Yeah, it's fun. It's cute in here. <laughs> no, uh, le <laughs> no, because we, I want to say we really wanted to transform this into uh, like what, well, like a, well, like a media room, a man cave slash when our friends are over. Yeah. But then we kind of found that we don't really like hang out as often to have like a media room. Yeah. And also like the new year started and we're kind of both just like on a no, dieting and exercising and not really trying to do anything like on the weekend so and we have two kids and that's like the fact that we just have two kids they have a lot of toys and they play so it's fair. i mean leslie has her her room her office i have my room my office where i can spend my time and we're just like yeah it's a good idea by the way guys we are starving i'm telling you guys it was like a rushed morning we'll show you guys we right now take our well we had breakfast i know that's what i was telling them but we actually well alex 
uh, cooks every single day uh, for all of us, but sometimes we just we just gotta do what we gotta do. So we stopped for some. Um, mm. Oh. Mm. Yeah. I had to ask you guys on Instagram like I made a whole poll and you guys were team less I didn't even say like who was one side but it was like 65% were like 100% of playroom and then the ones did it but once me and Alex uh, go back to being locos party animals just kidding but once the kids are a little bit older and stuff I don't know exactly when uh, we would definitely abre Definitely be down like one day that will happen. This will be we swear <laughs> like we're party animals But this would want to be like we won't have like a pool table and stuff here Yeah, well one day they'll be old and be able to enjoy They're not even gonna care enjoy, to like have a player or like room. enjoy those things like. Because they're babies. I'm like they need like a, a space for them to play together So yeah, I need to show you guys what it looks like around here And today guys she went with the wet hair look in another vlog I'll show you guys like all of my top current favorite hair products, but yeah, are we liking it? I've been giving her like the wet look because she's like in an awkward yeah. stage of her hair where it's like right here So se ve despeinado seco when it's dry That when I make it wet it just seems like she just got out the shower vibes <laughs> But yeah Hot Ta da here it is, the kids' playroom. Okay, this is, I'm gonna show you guys where I bought everything uh, from Amazon, and it is to organize their little toys, the table that me and Alex probably eat here <laughs> as much as the kids do, because we normally like eat here and watch. Yeah, cause, or breakfast, I'll eat here breakfast, because we're normally like watching them and eating with them. The rug is also from Amazon. Table is from Amazon as well. And in the summer, I like it because the patio is right here. So we can like be grilling, grilling, chilling, hanging outside and still be able to like watch the kids uh -oh. play in the playroom or like we were saying, our friends come over, the kids can be here and then the grown-ups can be out there while still supervising. And then on this side, I also got this little, oh guys, actually like most of the room here is from Amazon, but the kitchen is from Amazon. And I actually did this wall myself. I'm gonna go ahead and link down below where the decals that I used for this wall it was so simple to put together and I feel like it just uh, gave this room a little playroom vibe we added a rug here this bean bag is also from Amazon and this blanket was a gift from Frankie Rose which I thought went perfect here with the smiley faces and then this right here it's not the actual nugget brand but it's from Amazon guys and I absolutely love it uh, you can do so many like things with it little houses little towers for the kids to climb on and all of that and we use this also daily right now we just have it put up I think it's so worth it because the kids have to seen into so much in it uh, of course a picture of the kiddos from mixed styles i truly love mixed styles aside working from them they are one of the best things ever so had to hang some mixed styles right here and yeah that's pretty much it we have their both of their toys kind of just laying around here and they spend a lot of their days here this initially was kind of like a bar since we have the projector here but i kind of want to turn it into like a little snack popcorn area i just don't know how i feel about having a lot of candy out because they're gonna be asking <laughs> for candy all day and then a fridge which was was full of beer as you can see we took out the beer and i just kind of want to fill it out with fill it up with kids juices and just stuff for us and the kids to be able to drink especially because of how low it is guy can come over here and just grab his own drink so yeah what do you guys think let me know are we feeling the vibes in here yes or no Sip. damn girl damn girl you should could put it away but anyways now to show you guys what Alex surprised me with. So, uh, this is my Valentine's gift, guys, which TMI, but I'm gonna be having surgery slash a colonoscopy on Valentine's Day. <laughs> and it was the only day that I was able to get it because they gave me like three or four other day options, other appointment options, but we're not gonna be in town. Literally all the other options. And the only day left <laughs> was on Valentine's Day. Ugh. Yeah, as I was telling you guys for my IBD, now that I have uh, a new doctor, uh, just for him to have like a full updated of me and kind of where I'm at to be able to help me and just, um, you know, whatever I need going forward. Uh, he is asking for me to get a colonoscopy. So, so yeah, I'm going to be getting that done, like I just said, for Valentine's Day. And me and Ali for like game planning. And I mean, the day before Valentine's Day is like prepping. And then the day after Valentine's Day, uh, we have to pack because we leave uh, for the weekend. So Valentine's is basically not happening. <laughs> This week for us and he already got me my valentine's day present and he had to basically tell me prior to them setting it up because oh i was gonna be in the house and obviously it takes like time for him to like move yeah. everything out the way and, and we setting it up yeah so and we, we gym together yeah we gym together well we've been gymming together the time that they were bringing that and the only window that they had to bring it and yeah. we were both home so i was like well i can't I, there's no way I could just surprise you with a whole like machine, machine. for the gym. <gasps> you can't tell them what it is yet, babe. I'm just kidding. Um, 
and we've been like really busy at home this week. So yeah, I was just like, babe, like to be honest, I, I spent the whole day yesterday trying to think of like, okay, well, how could I just let it show up? But the, the machine came in pieces anyways. And they have to build And it. they had to come in and build it. It took some time. So I was like, there's just no way about going around it. So I waited literally till like 11 at night last night. To tell we were already, me. She was already in bed and I was like closing up my office and I was going to go to bed too. And then I was just like, so she got all excited and we're all like at 11.30. She was making me measure. Oh no, he's like, go. what are you doing tomorrow at 11? And I was like, why? And then he's like, just, and I was like, why? He's like, well, I got you something for the gym. And I'm, I instantly knew what it was because I've been telling him for like probably even a year now, like I really, really, really wanted this machine. Enough yippity yappity. <laughs> Let me show you guys what our gym looks like because we also had to move it around to make it work. But I'm so, so excited guys. I was, I have been hinting, well, telling him for like the past six months. Oh, you haven't been hinting, you've been telling <laughs> I'm like, babe, all I want from you is this. So, yeah, so let me show you guys right. what it is. Can you guys guess before I show you guys which machine you guys think it is? But here it is. I'm not gonna, we, we need to clean this gym. I was telling Alex that we haven't gone in here like deep cleaned in a while. So the floor's a little bit dusty, musty. Hi, mama. But I got a Smith machine. Ta-da! A Smith machine, guys. I have been wanting one so, so bad. I know there's like many different ways to do certain workouts and everything, but I've just been really, 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 really wanting a Smith machine. And I was telling Alex, like if I would have walked in and just seen it, I would have for sure done a happy dance and freaked out for a little bit. But he did have to tell me about it. So I was like, oh, I was like pretty surprised. And then they set it up today. And yeah, I am literally ecstatic. Counting down the minutes for me to be able to come in tomorrow and work out. So yeah, that's... Hi! We are going to make Gael's 100 days of school shirt now. He just woke up from a nap and he was like, where's my shirt? We need to make it. So, and he decided to go with blue. Show them right there. Nice! If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, guys, I post daily on there and I'll show you guys what the shirt looks like on him tomorrow in school. So for you guys to go follow me on there because this video will go up before. We have a lot of cute stuff. We bought a bunch of car stickers and I do a lot of little projects with him. So I feel like even if we don't use all the stickers right now, I'm gonna have like a bin to put away like the crafts and stuff. Because I mean, pick the cars. Um, yeah, we can try. You can try. I feel like the years to come, there's gonna be a lot of school projects for him. So these will all come in handy. But yeah, we got some options right here. We're gonna put the shirt together and you're gonna wear your cute outfit to school tomorrow. Sign it? Yes. Okay, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and basically spending the whole day with me. But yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye. Bye. By the way, Alex and Mama Girl had to get out of here because if not, girl, these two kids <laughs> will box for the exact same sticker pack. I'm like, ah. So Alex left with Mama Girl, but let's get this shirt going. Bye.